Massachusetts on Sunday, May 22nd. I invite all those who are able to please stand for our call of worship. I will exalt you, my God and King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise is greatness no one can fathom. Come, let us worship the Lord. darkness. 
natural storms, and the calamity that these storms wreak upon areas and regions, as it has recently in Michigan. And we pray for those people. We pray that they will find strength and power to pull together as communities to support those who have had losses, not only of physical property, but also of loved ones. And that as communities come together, that your grace will empower them to help rebuild whatever the calamity that is besought them. And that they will be stronger in the midst of adversity. And gracious God, we also know that there is evil that lurks in our world. We call this out because we recognize the evil of hatred, the evil of war, illness that takes lives, lives of loved ones. And as we pray for those who are going through these times, we are reminded that you are always present. And we ask simply that you would continue to reveal your grace, your love, and your wisdom so that leaders of communities and leaders that are in the midst of these battles would be guided by what is truly best as they move forward with healing, seeking justice, and seeking to support those who are most wounded and most vulnerable in our societies. We pray this not only for global and community challenges, but we pray this same prayer because we know that our human lives are oftentimes of microcosm, and that there are those within our midst who are struggling. Struggling with diagnosis, waiting for medical care, hoping that whatever the response of doctors, that it would provide a healing path to being restored to full life. And we commit those that we love in our hearts at this time Think of those that you want to remember in prayer. And in your heart, speak their names right now. Lord, hear our prayers. And as we speak names, we know that your spirit is already sent forward. And along with our prayers of concern for others, health, and all manner of struggles, we also want to praise you and thank you for the times of special gifts, for the life that you give us, the opportunities that we've had just in the recent days, and for the times when we've been strengthened, and the times when we've had opportunity to be filled with your presence and joy. And for these moments, together we praise God. God. So it's with praise and with thanksgiving that we continually present our petitions before you, and may we release our worries, our anxieties, and lay them at your feet, having confidence that you as a loving God have heard our prayer, and that your grace is always sufficient in our lives. Lord, hear our prayer. And now unite us together as we pray the prayer that your son Jesus taught his disciples. When together we say, our Father.